Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. How many of y'all celebrate Christmas out here? We celebrate Christmas or you? I just, I just celebrate. I mean, it's a holiday. I can celebrate. What about you, brother? All right, no sir on the, on the Christmas. Let's see. Deuteronomy. I mean, Jeremiah 10. Bring it up. We gonna we gonna go and we gonna find some commandments concerning these things, right? Because brother, you know it or not, the holidays America set up is not for our people. Like for example, July 4th, black man was killed nearly every day leading up to that. We was out protesting. We was out. We was trying to uh, fight for some type of equality. Bring it out. No justice, no peace. Then July 4th came and Negroes fell asleep. They said, fight now, it's time to pop fireworks and celebrate America's independence when we are don't have independence, independence to this day. Read, read what you got. Now, this is about Christmas. Read what you got. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 10, verse 1. Read out. Hear ye the words which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. No, everybody. O house of Israel. No, I thought it was the white man. O house of Israel. God speaking to the Israelites. Still, read. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Do what? Learn not the way of the heathen. God said, do not learn the way of the heathen. The heathen are anybody who is not on this side right now. This is the list of God chosen people. If you don't see uh, a race on this side, they are a heathen. So, just to uh, sum it up, you got the white man, heathen. The Arab man, heathen. Chinese man, heathen. Japanese man, heathen. The Hawaiian man, heathen. These are heathens God said not to follow after them. Now listen to this part, read. And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. The signs of heaven are like your horoscope. You're like, oh, I'm a cancer. My, my, I'm a Gemini. I line up. My stars line up today. It told me today not to drink no water. God said don't be uh, concerned with that stuff, right? Read on. For the heathen are dismayed at them. This is this part. For the customs of the people are vain. For one cut up a tree out of the forest. He said, now it's a custom out here that's vain. Where somebody go cut a tree out of a forest. What do that sound like? Let's see, read on. The work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. What do they do with this tree? They deck it with silver and with gold. Do that sound familiar? Silver and gold. Every, every year, you hear these same songs. But remember, read on. They fasten it with nails and with hammer that it moves not. Now go back up to learn not. Remember what God said about it. You got it? Learn not the way of the heathen. God clearly said, do not do this thing. But what America has done, they have perverse. They have perverse everything about this Bible. They sit up and tell you Jesus Christ was born on this day, therefore you must celebrate. This this book, this, this is what we read right now is in the Old Testament. This was at least 500 years before Jesus Christ was even born, and they was already celebrating Christmas. Free showing you that Christmas, the, Christ, the holiday Christmas, has nothing to do with Jesus Christ. The holiday Easter, Thanksgiving, none of these holidays have anything to do with the Bible. But if I did name biblical holidays, I bet you wouldn't, wouldn't even know. Feast of Tabernacle, what's that? Day of Atonement, what's that? See, these days, they're not going to teach you because they don't want you to know your heritage. That's right. They don't want you to know your history because once you know your history, once you come back to your history, their kingdom going to fall. Bring it out. Now, birthday. 
birthdays. Go to Joel chapter 1. We're going to hit birthday, right? Is y'all married? Y'all together or y'all brothers and sisters? Oh, y'all together? Okay, okay. We're going we gonna to hit birthday fast and then we're going to get to marriage, right? Is y'all planning on getting married or no? I couldn't even hear you. You said that's your lady right there. All praise to the most high. Hang on. Your birthday, then we're going to hit marriage. Listen to this. Read what you got. The book of Job, chapter 1, verse 4. Let's start at verse 1. The book of Job, chapter 1, verse 1. There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job. You ever heard of Job, the book of Job? Listen to what God said about Job. And that man was perfect and upright. Now, Job was a perfect man. Yeah. So he did, so he he followed the commandments of God, right? Jump down to verse 4. Verse 4! And his sons went and feasted in their houses, every one his day. Now, Job's sons were evil. He was a perfect man. But Job's sons didn't follow after his ways. They went and had a feast, every one his day. So if it's your day, meaning your birthday, you go out. You have a feast, everybody coming over. If it's her day, do this sound familiar? It sounds familiar, right? Read it again. And his sons went and feasted in their houses, every one his day, and sent and called for their three sisters to eat and to drink with them. So they went and got, went and caught some bottles, got some chicken wings, and they went and they went and called their sisters up. They had a good old time, right? Read on. Verse 5, and it was so, when the days of their feasting were gone about, that Job sent and sanctified them, and rose up early in the morning, and offered burnt offerings according to the number of them all. So what Job did after they would commit this sin, he would get up in the morning and send a sacrifice to God. What, what, what you, what, we might not know this if y'all are not familiar with the Bible, but in the times before Christ, whenever you sin, you had to sacrifice an animal for your sin, right? So what God, what Job was doing, was doing this for each one of his children, right? But when you read on, ultimately, God took his children for that. You see what I'm saying? So, do that answer your question about birthday? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day nothing's in vain IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on Paul's mission we out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.